Thanks, Josh. Hi, my name's Simon Frank, and I'm a Hamilton-based visual artist. And I'm just going to talk with you a few minutes here about a very special plant and a material that I use to make art. So the plant that I want to talk with you about today uh, is the burdock plant. And you might have heard of the burdock plant because the plant produces these seed heads that we call burrs. And you probably know about burrs because you've had them stick to your clothes or to your dog's fur. There's one story about burrs where a person had it stick to their clothing and they wondered, well, how did it stick? And they asked a great question and instead of just not trying to answer it, they actually took the burr and they looked at it under a magnifying glass and they saw that it has hundreds and hundreds of little hooks. And that inspired them to make something that you guys all know called Velcro. You probably have it on your shoes or you've seen it to, to attach things. And Velcro is just made of little hooks. And the person copied burrs, which I think is a cool story. I don't know if you've ever heard of the story of the burr man, but long, long time ago, someone was walking through the woods and they ran through some burrs, some plants like this, and the burrs started sticking to their clothes. And they got a little scared because sometimes when plants grab at us, it kind of scares us. Even though burrs are beautiful and amazing, they can scare you. So he started running and the more he ran, the more burrs stuck to his clothing. Eventually, he ran so, through so many burr plants that he was covered from head to toe in burrs. And he ran out of the forest and he wasn't trying to scare anybody, but he started walking home and people called him the Burr Man. Uh, that thing that happened, that story, became part of a festival in Scotland, and which is where I was born. And when I started making art 25 years ago, burrs was the first material that I chose to use, mostly because I found them really interesting. And I thought that, well, I wondered how did they stick? And I thought, hey, wouldn't that be cool to use burrs to make sculptures or objects? So I started picking burrs and exploring or trying to discover what I could do with them. And of course, again, they stick to things, like my shirt. First, I would just gather up the burrs, like you guys can do. And I just pick them gently, because I don't want to harm the plant. And then I found that they would stick together. So some of the first things that I made with burrs were just bigger burrs. I would make these big burr balls. I even stuck them on the side of an art gallery once here in Hamilton, the Art Gallery of Hamilton. And uh, I called the artwork the gallery that went for a walk in the woods. So I like to make different shapes with burrs. I've made uh, different geometric shapes like spheres and cubes. And I also make burr figures or burr people. I once even covered myself in burrs. I don't recommend that though. So if you're out in the woods and you see some burrs, uh, you could maybe ask a parent or an adult and if you could try making something with them. It's a lot of fun. Thanks guys.